115 people die by suicide in the UK every week, with 75% of those deaths being male. The directly standardised rate for October 2023 was 18.2 deaths per 100,000 males. My name is Will Thompson and this is my story. I'm 18 years of age and back in 2021, my brother unfortunately took his own life. My brother meant the world to me. Um, he, he, was, he was half of me, uh, my best mate. Uh, we, we, we did everything together uh, ever since we were little. And I think within the space of me being born, uh, within five minutes, my brother was, was laying next to me. And I think that sums up the bond that, that we had. That just every opportunity we had together, George Thompson lost his battle to depression and mental health at the age of 18 on the 27th of October 2021 due to suicide. He stepped in front of a train. I was struggling was around when he was in college, um, so that would have been 2019. And my mum and dad sort of sheltered me from the struggles that he had prior to that. He left the college with the intent to take his own life. Um, and I think I was at the age, maybe around 15, where my mum and dad believed that I was mature enough to find out about the struggles that George was dealing with. After the passing of George, Will and his family were supported by their local club, Stockport County Football Club. County is, is everything to me now. Uh, I, I feel like I owe, I owe everything to them. I started following the club at around, around 2019. Um, George went for about maybe a season before me and he was saying this is just it's it's a great buzz you've got to start coming along as soon as the club found out that the passing of George they, they immediately took to social media to send their condolences um, the fans then soon uh, soon found out about it as well and and instantly they, they started gathering started gathering the momentum that that's the probably one of the biggest games in, in recent history at Bolton away um, they were going to do a minute support to my brother and in the 18th minute uh, both sets of fans stood together to, to send the condolences and since then they've they've just they've been unbelievable uh, here's the applause on 18 minutes for uh, young George Thompson county fan has passed away very recently the help that they've done with, with with the loss of George, you know they've, they've done many things, and we have um, we have a good bond with the club and the people and the, the backroom staff. They've they've offered to, to pay for the brick, uh, which is outside the ground. Um, they've they've given us all sorts of signed stuff, which it's it's the stuff like that that the community that is around this place is it, it's indescribable you just have to see it for yourself and um the, the consistent love that the, the fans and the players and the, the staff have given us um it we're forever thankful since the passing of george will and fellow supporters have taken george's flag home and away in his memory we take the flag everywhere um every every ground we, we try and get it to whether i'm there or not uh, people have always offered to take it and we, it's become something that uh, I've heard a number of times that it's, it's become a symbol of hope around the club, which um, it, it's a great honour to have that and have that labelled with a flag where it, it's, I've heard from some people that it, it, it does genuinely help them to see it, whether they're travelling to Gillingham or Carlisle. It's, it's, it, it's, it, it's brilliant to, to take it around everywhere because for me on a personal level, it's, it feels like I'm somewhat where George would be if he was still here um, because him and I always had the idea of travelling to From a young age, Will and George had a passion for combat sports. Will was being boxing. Will and his dad decided to utilise that and raise money for charity. Well, I've always had a love for boxing um, ever since uh, I stopped playing football. So around the age of eight or nine, I walked into my first boxing gym and um, spent many, many, many years there. And... You know, it's, it's something that is sort of ingrained in me. Um, and when we when we had the idea to do a 24-hour boxing marathon, it was it was a long shot um, and a lot 
of people were surprised by it. So I think that's why it, it gathered so much attention through the media and, and, and through the community that we have. Um, just through through what we were representing, through Mentel and through my brother. Um, and it was, it was brilliant, the whole thing, um, start to finish. I loved every second. The marathon itself, it, it was tough, um, but it it was worth it. The target for the marathon was 5,583 minutes, which was the count of deaths through suicide for England and Wales in 2021. Second target was 6,556. That was for the whole of the UK. One of them obviously being my brother. A lot of people didn't think we'd be able to reach that target. And through the help of the people that we've met and the people who we, uh, we as a family have around us, we managed to get 12,541 minutes of exercise complete. Alongside that, we ended up raising £10,311.83 for mental. Um, all of that has gone directly to the charity. Within them 156 participants, uh, we together did 4,180 rounds of boxing. And that speaks for itself, uh, really. But I think my dad and I did the target of doing 12 three minute rounds per hour. Um, so that left us around between the minutes rest. It, it allowed us 13 minutes at the end of each hour to, to recover. People to come along from world champion boxers to footballers to county fans, to, to people who heard it on the radio people coming through the door to, to show the support and I know that my brother will be immensely proud of what we've done. Yeah, so it's it's been two it's been over two years now since George has passed and as a family we're doing a lot better. It would be silly for us to say we are well um, but we are coping. It's something that obviously we're going to have to constantly live with and but I, I'm always I always show gratitude to the to the opportunity and, and the stuff that I have around me, uh, just you know the club, uh, the people. If I was to offer support to someone, I'd, I'd I'd say talk, and I know that's that's cliche nowadays, but it's so important to do that. Um, it's finding the person of persons. It's finding the person to talk to. Um, or the place to find settled to be able to talk. But I'm also aware that some people just don't like to talk, but they like to release the stress and the, the feelings that they have just through doing something that they enjoy. Um, whether that's coming to watch a football match or uh, doing a sport like boxing or just going on a walk. Um, you know, there's there is something out there to help people and it's just a case of finding it and as long as as long as they get up every morning they've they've, they've done half the battle if you are struggling mentally please talk to someone whatever you are going through text shout to young minds at 85258 samaritans are also available 24/7 to call on 116123 thank you for watching